All right, friends. Now we already move on to Figma, and I already prepare the two of the image that we going to make a realistic shadow. Okay, let's get started. First, I want to make a frame. All right. Okay. Maybe all of you may know that the usual way we make a drop shadow like this. Okay, like this, but as you can see here, it is not realistic in any way, it's just usual. Of course, there is a way to make it more realistic, so you can delete the shadow first, copy the, the image. Okay, now let's unfocus on this two. After you copy this image, press Alt and hold it. And make it smaller. Like this. First, make it a name so you don't confuse. Okay. Make the tattoo to behind of the tet first like this okay and choose an effect for tattoo sorry i will get this right here so you don't confuse make this effect first of this tattoo not drop shadow but Blur, maybe 13, get it behind this, alright, and move it to the bottom of it, bottom of the third one. If you don't satisfy it, you can always change the size like this. See? It's perfect. It's realistic. So it is kind of a mirror in the bottom of that one. Let's try the image number two. All right. First copy it name it first F2 make it smaller okay I think add an effect and choose for layer blur 13 okay so as you can see here, there is uh, some kind of snap and the red lining. That means uh, it is a center of the image behind it. So make sure you meet this red line. So it's center and move it to the back of the other and move it down. Oh, sorry, it's not in frame. Okay. okay. Let's try if it's use drop shadow. 
make it blur maybe some 10 like this so which one do you prefer left one correct it is more realistic than this image that using the drop shadow perfect now let's try using other example maybe oh yeah I, I got it right there yeah this is it okay oopsie I already got uh, an image of a Feiji right here if you don't know how to do how to search for this image you can always uh, search for the image in Google copy it the copy it right here in Figma and after that make a rectangle at any size that you want and move it to the S sorry move it to the f top of this rectangle and choose the rectangle and the image and click on this or control alt m all right this is the rectangle and this is the image you can always change the rectangle for the radius 20 maybe you can always change it as you prefer as you can see here I drag it as I want it but 20 is enough I think so there you have it the image right here do the step that we make before make it more smaller create an effect layer blur 30 and move it again to the center of this image and move it to the back and drag it to the bottom so you can see here, here that it's almost like the mirror of this image and if you want to see uh, my UI using this kind of trick you can see here this is my UI for cooking app oops sorry see this is perfect as you can see here it looks more realistic than the other one that using drop shadow all right and another bonus i will share it right here so this is my ui for cooking no, not cooking cookies cookies company that based in indonesia i will teach you how to make this kind of shadow from this cookies rack here all right 
I actually have this uh, image right here, but there is a trick if you want to like steal. But first, I will copy it first for the backup. You can steal like this. Okay. Choose this. Okay. Make the mask mask in the behind of the image that we will be masking. After that, click on this. Right there. There you have it. It is kind of stealing, but it's not stealing, cropping, I think. Okay. I'm not going to make this uh, word with this text and this shape because it is too long for this YouTube video I only want to teach you how to make this kind of shadow okay first copy it uh, hold an alt like this Okay. First you have to make a drop shadow first. And yeah. Just drag it until it satisfy of your shadow. Like that. Maybe blur is 15. Perfect. And move the shadow behind of these cookies and centerize it. There you have it your own make shadow if you don't satisfy you can always drag it up and down and the blur you can change it to or even the color i think yeah perfect there you have it it is not the same but almost you can always change the shape of the shadow you can co always control it and satisfy your needs perfect okay spirited pixel lover this is the end of these tutorials i hope you enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification icon to get updated for my next video Oh yeah, if you missed these tutorials, make sure to click on that red button above to see about how to make an animation UI in Android Studio. And of course, make it pop means make it rain. See you on the next video.